Hi, and welcome back to our lesson on troubleshooting motors. My name is Tim, and in this portion of the lesson, we're going to discuss electrical meter ratings. Again, we want to make sure we're using the correct electrical meter for the job. So we're going to explain the CAT ratings or CAT ratings of meters. Now, a CAT 4 meter is used for outdoor cables and utilities primarily. These are most susceptible to lightning strikes and voltage spikes. So this is the highest rating of the electrical meters. The CAT 3 meters are used for panels, branch circuits, and permanent fixtures. And this is the most common meter required for the HVAC technician. CAT2 meters are for loads that are plugged into outlets or receptacles, such as household appliances and portable tools. CAT1 meters can be used for electronics, such as computers, copy machines, and things like that. So again, we're looking at CAT3 meters here for the HVAC technician, and here's a little illustration of the various meter ratings and where they're used. So lightning strikes and utility surges can cause high voltage spikes. And for this reason, we're going to need to use a CAT4 meter. These outdoor wires and equipment get the highest voltage spikes, and that's why we use a CAT4 meter here. Now, increased resistance will drop the spike voltage as it enters panels and fixed equipment, such as HVAC equipment. So in this case, we can reduce the meter that we're requiring to a rating of a CAT3. And again, this is the most common with HVAC equipment. Now, if we're looking at CAT2 equipment, well, this tends to be uh, receptacles and outlets where you have power tools and appliances plugged in. And again, CAT1 meters are sufficient for electronics such as computers and copying machines. Now, the CAT ratings for HVAC and refrigeration work, well, the higher the CAT rating, the better it can handle voltage spikes. And the higher voltage rating of the meter, the higher voltage that it can test safely. For HVACR work, a CAT3 600 volt minimum meter rating is what's required. Now, a CAT3000 volt and a CAT4 600 volt are even better or even safer. When it comes to hand tools, obviously you want to buy the best you can afford. But when it comes to electrical meters, buy the most protection. Your life may depend on it. Now let's take a look at an example of some meters here. Are these meters acceptable for HVAC and refrigeration work? Well, if we take a look at this meter here, we can see that we have a CAT4 600 volt or CAT3 1000 volt meter here. So yeah, this would be the best one for HVAC. If we look at this meter here, we see that we have a CAT3 600 volt meter. So again, that's also acceptable, but this would be the minimum acceptable rating for a meter used in HVAC. And if we look at this third meter, we can see that this particular meter is only 300 volts a CAT3 and 600 volts CAT2, meaning we want a minimum of 600 volts um, as well as a CAT3 rating. So this meter would not be sufficient for HVAC. Now here's another example of a digital multimeter, and we can see the CAT rating is stamped right in the jaws here at the top. This is a CAT3, and our voltage rating's over on the right here, 600 volts and 600 amps. So this would be a great meter for use in HVAC equipment. Hey, we're going to take a short break now, and I'll see you back here soon to continue our discussion on troubleshooting motors.